Sony's a house in a state of perpetual renewal, and one of the advantages of being a label with so much history is that there's an incredible archive to draw on. For this collection, Angela Massoni's gone back to the house's history in evening wear, which has been a little bit neglected of late. A Bianca Jagger, 1970s kind of feeling, but obviously done in a contemporary way, how girls would kind of live and wear it today if they were partying today. You've got a little bit of a rock and roll thing going on here with the eye makeup. The clothes aren't rock and roll. I know, but I love like when it's like unbalanced a little of like what you wear. Like I love to wear like a couture dress with no makeup and rough hair, and I love to wear like jeans with like tons of makeup, you know, and a white t-shirt. So Angela unfortunately has terrible laryngitis and can't speak, but she did whisper to me what the key points in the collection are. One of them is this uh, sari caftan shape. Another is the uh, reworking of the Masoni Classics. This actually weighs about 100 tons. The collection looks quite different from the last few years, and there's lots of evening dresses. <laughs> a print brand, which is basically what they are, then your colours have to be absolutely of the moment, otherwise you, you look like old news. This only has a history that people know about. There's that knitwear, there's those patterns, there's those threads. Angela Missoni's whole success in, in, in updating the brand and to making it young and sexy. You reconfigure the, the patterns a little, you, you scale them up or you scale them down, you, make, you change the colours. You still have to figure out a way because it is an intricate thing. How do you make it into an easy day clothes? How do you make it more than just that sweater that you pull? And they certainly have these wonderful retro prints. It's like, they look very cool on these rock and girl girls today. Backstage, I was told that Missoni is a house with a, with a big evening wear heritage, but they've actually not really worked it lately. So this was a very conscious effort to create some red carpet dresses. It's incredibly beautiful. I love the femininity of the colors, the silhouettes. Really wonderful collection. This is my favorite of like all the evening. <laughs> I love these big flowers, these big applique like flowers. The shape. It's very dramatic kind of, but you know, Kate Blanchett would look amazing in that. So, <laughs> so I would say for her. They're like a, such a great family, you know, I know them for so long. I love their look, you know, and uh, I mean, you can't get more Italian than them. 